Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So every year around the CRBE, the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo, Billy Rose here at Mutation Creation throws this huge party at his facility. It's a big facility, but there's gonna be a lot of people in there. And Billy, he has some of the most amazing ball pythons I've ever seen. So let's go in and join Billy's ball python party here at Mutation Creation. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I tour the world to see how reptiles are living in the wild. And while I'm at it, checking out some of the most amazing facilities and reptile expos as well. It's all about learning, appreciation, and conservation. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. Eh, eh, there's no party in here. Here's everybody. Billy, good to see you. I didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> well, I try not to, but hey, how do I miss this? <laughs> and Gary is here, and Barrow's from KB Reptiles. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Brian Cusco. <laughs> you guys were going to join us at uh, Reptilia and... Oh man, so awful. I can't do the KB without the K, so I had to wait in the car like a puppy. Well, you, you would have been B&B &B reptiles. Oh, we would have been. Yeah. You know, that's a popular way to go right That's right, That's right, right. And, you know, progressive. Look at this surveillance Billy has here. That's like... Oh, the bathroom camera's down again. Oh, man. So Billy has an open tub policy here, which means that we get to go around and open as many tubs and check out as many ball pythons as we want. All right, I'm going to start this out with a bang. This is a pewter, cryptic, leopard, yellow belly, het clown. This is the most amazing ball python there is. Check this out. Is that the most amazing ball python you guys have ever seen? Look at those just muted colors on a background of white and that really diffused pattern. That is just an amazing ball python. Wow, I could just sit here and stare at this ball python like all night long. That is just amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna show you two of the most amazing ball pythons in this entire facility. And they're amazing because I bought them a couple of months ago and now we're just trying to figure out the paperwork to get them shipped to the United States, but they are right here and I'm gonna show you guys. Look at that, it's got my name on it. And of course, it's something pied. Look at this beauty. So this is a lavender het pied adult female. Proven. She's laid two clutches so far. And this little girl is coming home to Minnesota, and I'm gonna put her on this guy. Oh, look at that. So this is a black pastel pied, and you guys know I'm huge into pieds, but the reason why I bought this black pastel pied is it's also het lavender. And so I'm gonna put this with the lavender girl and we're gonna make some really cool snakes and I'm gonna show you what those look like in a second, but I am really up in my lavender pied stuff. So I've got some GHI double head lab pieds at home and I'm really gonna step up my lab pied game. So I'm really excited to get these guys south of the border, but check out what these two snakes are gonna make. So those two snakes are gonna make this snake. This is a black pastel lavender pied. So black pastel and lavender, when you put it into pie, it really makes that lavender turn into just this flame orange. Oh, I can't wait to make these next year. So this is a dreamsicle. So this is just a lavender pied, which is just amazingly beautiful in and of itself. But man, you add that black pastel gene to it and it just turns this orange into fire. Look at that awesome little explosion pattern on them right there. Man, these are just awesome snakes. Out of all the pieds, these are one of my favorites. But man, I'll tell you, when it comes to my favorite pied morphs, man, dreamsicles are right at the top. 
And again, I've got GHI, double het lav pied stuff. I'm really going to focus on upping my lavender pied projects at home. But man, I'll tell you, just the Dreamsicle without any other jeans is just an amazingly beautiful snake. All right, so the awesome Lord Elion is here. Uh, all right. Show us your favorite snake so, in this. So wait a minute, first of all, before we see your snake, you actually work here, you work for Billy. Uh, yeah, so I make you know videos online on my channel, so on my YouTube channel, as well as with Billy, my mutation creation. I edit his videos as well as I go around recording. So this whole entire day, I've kind of been like behind the scenes kind of recording Dave and yeah, recording everyone. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I have a couple of favorite snakes here. Of course, my favorite snake is, happens to be the Champagne Freeway. That, the minute I came here and I saw that Champagne Freeway, everyone was freaking out, but I named it Ducky. And it's kind of cool because it kind of went around, um, you know, the whole internet. Yeah. And everyone was calling it Ducky. So. Ducky? Yeah, why Ducky? I don't know. I, I guess I'll show you why. Uh, let's check this thing out. This right here is the Champagne Freeway. Oh. And as you can see, it has like a very. Uh, gray look to it. When it was smaller, it was a lot more gray and purple. But the face, as you can see, oh, he's got kind of a duck bill thing going yeah, on there. Yeah, so had to kind of give it the name Ducky, and, and you know, of course, like uh, Billy Bean, so kind, I guess, <laughs> continue naming it that. Yeah, so its name is Ducky now. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of cool that the whole entire internet calls it Ducky. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this was actually a world's first at the time. I'm not sure if one was uh, produced uh, afterwards, but it is a world's first. Uh, so named it Ducky. Got to name a world's first. That is amazing. So the camera just simply doesn't do justice, but this is like a purple gray color on this just almost fluorescent yellow stripe. That is an amazing morph. Wow, that is a champagne freeway. Yep. That's amazing. All right, so I can totally see why that is your favorite snake here. That is a good pick. And you know, honestly, I've always wanted to buy it. <laughs> but Billy over here didn't sell it to me, so no, I guess I get to. Ducky. I guess I could just appreciate it, you know, while I want to. Well, I absolutely, and you get to see it every day working yeah. here, and that's awesome. Now, does he pay you in cash or ball pythons? Uh, he kind of pays me uh, in both. <laughs> ah, that's the way to go. And I'm like, yeah, just pay me in that. <laughs> awesome, man. So thanks for showing off that snake. I'm gonna put your link in the description below. Everybody. Go check out Lord Elion. Hit that no post notification bell button, okay? Like, make sure you hit that bell button. You gotta hit the bell. You gotta hit, that you gotta hit the bell. So what this is, is a double head. So I bred a pie ball to an enhancer to make double heads. So when this came out, I saw the difference and I'm like, this is crazy. And then I noticed that that's an enhancer and that's the head pie. That's but insane. What's, but what's even crazier, if you look underneath, one side on the pied has the het pied markers. The train tracks here. And not on the... And it doesn't have the train tracks on the enhancer side. So does that mean that this hemipene over here is the only one that's het pied? You and this know. hemipene over here you is know. not? But isn't that crazy? You better make sure that that hemipene is the one that's used. <laughs> Look at that though. Right down the middle, like you sewed two snakes together. Yeah, correct. Wow. Even on the head, he's like right down the middle. Yeah. When it came out, I didn't That's even insane. notice it. just looked weird. And one of my staff, he's like a gene whiz. And he's like, Billy, I think you hit a camera. I'm like, what? He's like, look at this. And I'm like, no. It kept shedding and it got better and better. And I was like, wow. That is just insane. I don't even know what the odds to hit one of these are. One in a million or? It's, it's something. Oh, it's like more than one in a million. Yeah, it's one in something. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Shiny. Wow. That is just amazing. Uh, there's two snakes over there that I'll I'll trade you for this one. Um, no. No, oh, fine, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. All right, so you recognize all of these dudes, Tyler, Maddie, and Emma. What did you think of that Chimera? It was insane. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like that? Not in person. Yeah. Okay. You create the diversion with Billy. You grab the snake. Oh yeah. And I'll meet you, and we'll meet you out front. <laughs> awesome. Good seeing you guys here. Awesome. All right. So this is an Enchi Orange Dream Yellow Belly Pied. And if this was male, I would totally get this for my family. But it's female, and I need a male, of course. But man, look what Inchi does to Pied. It just 
wax out that pattern and makes pieds a low white pied. He's a little shy here. But man, these are just amazing snakes. And when you add yellow belly to orange dream, whoo, man, that's a gorgeous snake. All right, so another one of these amazing ball pythons here that I want to show you guys is this one. This isn't a lavender, well, it is a lavender, but it's a lavender banana. And I gotta say, I'm really disappointed to see this combo because I really would have expected the banana to really mix well with the lavender. And that lavender gene, as you can see, just completely overpowers the banana in it. But look at those flames that come up though. That's what the banana influence does to the lavender. And so I'm kind of disappointed to see this, but guys comment below and let me know, are you disappointed in the way that the banana and the lavender gene work together? I mean, this is a gorgeous snake, but it's not what I expected to see when I thought about banana mixed with lavender. So again, comment below and let me know, are you disappointed by how this snake turned out, even though it's a gorgeous snake, or is this really an awesome snake? So again, this is a banana lavender, but man, gorgeous snake. But I really wanted to see maybe, maybe some more purples, some more of that banana influence coming through in this snake. And again, the lavender just kind of overpowers that banana. So in that respect, gorgeous snake, but I'm a little disappointed with how these two genes work together. Look at this clutch that just hatched out. So this is a blackhead lavender to a what uh, blackhead? To a black pastel To a black lavender. pastel lavender. So blackhead lavender to a black pastel lavender. Look so at some of these guys. Here we have a blackhead lav, sorry, a black pastel lav in deep shed. And when you add the black pastel, to the blackhead. It's not working with me. Well, they are ball pythons. That's true. Really, really, really cleans it up. Look at that. That is just amazing. So that is a black pastel blackhead lavender. Correct. And compared to just a regular lavender, that is amazing. And then look at this one here. That's the, another one of these. I don't know which one of those two I like best. Lucky enough to hit two in this clutch. Yeah, those are amazing. Just bleach white heads. That is just an absolutely gorgeous mark. Wow. That is a great clutch. This is a great clutch in my pants. Yeah? Yeah. Front or back? Both. Yeah. All right, Carrie. So it is now time for you to show off your favorite ball python in this whole big area. Well, I gotta say, I have not gone through all of them because, you know, it's very overwhelming. But I did find one that I really like. Okay, let's see it. And does, and does Veros agree that this is the most awesome no, one? Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Okay. Here we go. We're gonna get this picture. Yeah. Oh, so this good pick. Yes, no. banana and G H I special. Yes. Look at the. G you can definitely see the G H I coming out in that. And I think it. And looks the like yellows are the special. Almost going into shed too, and it still looks that good. Man, that is a gorgeous snake. Well done, Carrie. I know. Yeah. And it looks like it's a, it's a female. Very to be honest, I th I thought you were just gonna pull out a normal. To be honest, well, but we have enough those at our house. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd go and live on the edge a little bit. <laughs> that is a gorgeous snake. Yeah, I know, right? So banana inchy G H I special. Wow, that is just an amazing snake. Very cool. Awesome. And awesome. A, and a female. So and a female. I know, and she can't even, I mean, wow. Yeah. Who doesn't like a beautiful female here? Just here on camera. So that's <laughs> and notice how I look directly over at the KKB. <laughs> awesome. You guys are adorable. <laughs> All right, so Billy works with this cryptic gene. And not a lot of people know what this cryptic gene is, but it is awesome. So when you add butter and pinstripe to it, check this out. Look at that. This snake has, look at this, this snake has like twin spotting. That's what the pinstripe does to this. 
cryptic gene. So you can kind of guess what a butter and a pinstripe would look like, but you add that cryptic gene and look at this snake. Man, is that amazing. I love that twin spotting all the way down. Just an amazing snake. I really need to start looking into that cryptic gene. Woo, what a beauty. All right, so Billy, you throw an awesome party. So you also do something else that's really awesome. You have a contest for people around the world to fly into Toronto for this expo. I do. Um, uh, last year was the first year I had it. This is year two. Um, I've been doing YouTube and I've watched a lot of YouTube and people's videos and it's always look at my new rack, look what I produced, look what I bought, um, you know, just stuff like that. And it's, it's everyone does it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love watching egg cutting videos. Sure. People box, unboxing videos. It's one of my top. People love watching unboxing videos. Um, I wanted to do something in a contest, not give an animal away or something. I wanted to be different. So what I wanted to do is, is have a, a contest and give away a trip to come to our big expo here, the Canadian Reptile Breeder Expo, and, and not only have um, the winner come here to go there, but come see my facility, hang out with me, and actually reach out to some other big breeders or other people in the industry that I, I love and respect and follow myself, have them all here and sort of collaborate and, and talk and, and learn stuff, get numbers, um, and, and you know, pick each other's brain and, and, and you know, just you know, give each other high fives. And sure, sure. Congratulate everybody. Uh, of what they've accomplished or what they're going to or hey nice pickup love what you got love what you made and just just connect so you have the contestants make a video and upload that video and in that video what I wanted to see was not what you had not where you came from not what you're making not what you bought why you do this what inspires you right what, what got you into this like just I want to get it wanted to get to know people um, why they do this because no one comes in and ever asks me, hey Billy, what got you into this? Right. It was always like, what do you got? What did right. you make? I love this. I wanted to get deeper than that. And, and by doing so, I got such a shock because when people were putting up videos, you're like, wow, that's awesome. I didn't know that. And, oh, that's, that's really different. Oh, that person was afraid, this and that. And then other people watched and they're like, hey. I'm like this person. And right. Other people were connecting and, and reaching out, and next thing you know, it was almost like a network of people reaching out and liking and, and sharing their videos, and it was just an amazing experience. And I so you have people from all over the world submit videos, and then the person whose video gets the most likes on your page, you fly here to Toronto. Well, almost. So I do a five finalist sort of. Everybody that that submits an entry, the top three with the most likes. I will um, enter into the. <laughs> I was waiting to see how. <laughs> this is the type of channel I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we have just ascended to a level that... <laughs> Dude, it is so awesome that you do that. I mean, you made somebody's dream come true, and that contest winner is here tonight, right? 100%. Yeah, All right, you got to introduce right? me to him. Yeah, come on in. Let's cool. Find Joshua. All right, so this is Joshua. You're the contest winner. How you doing, Dave Kaufman? Good to good. meet you. How are you. All right, you're from Wright's Reptiles. Correct. And where are you out of? Uh, Florida. Florida. All right. So you won. What did, what did you think when you won? Were you just um, like totally excited? Honestly, I screamed like a little girl. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll be completely honest. Nice. Uh, we our video was a little bit delayed when we were watching the poll, and so we started seeing comments that was saying, uh, you know, congratulations, Josh. Congratulations, Josh. Holy crap, Josh. And uh, nice. We were, like, we were both sitting there in bed. Um, and we were like, what does this mean? And then all of a sudden he pulls the two. He's like, Josh, right? And I was. That's fantastic. I, I literally thought I was gonna have a heart attack. It was. It was. This is your first time in Toronto? Oh yeah. Nice. And nice. This is my first time ever winning anything, honestly. Really? Not a very long Wow, what a thing to win. Well, congratulations, man. That is awesome. I, I remember seeing your video, and yeah, that is really awesome. Congratulations. Enjoy yourself here in Canada.
Travelers, it's like four o'clock in the morning already. Well, not here, but I'm sure somewhere it is. But it is getting late and this party is over. But, you know, I just want to thank Billy for inviting all of us over. He is such an awesome guy and he has such an awesome collection. So, again, comment below about that lavender banana. Man, I'm just so on the fence with it. It's a gorgeous snake, but I don't know. Anyway, maybe it's me. Maybe you guys agree with me, comment below and let me know. Anyway, Rattlers, there's a lot more reptile adventures coming up. So hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Check out our sponsors. Their links are in the description below. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.